boom. It's frosty. It looks really nice. If I can get it to focus. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today is not a normal day for me to work or my wife. We have this big job that you saw in the last video. We actually got another big order, but since that last video, it hasn't gone so well. So uh, we had a birthday party planned, had to cancel it. My daughter started throwing up the morning before. We've had kid after kid being sick. So now <clears throat> it is Sunday. Normally we never work Sundays. Kids are taking a nap upstairs and I'm like, we gotta get some of this work done. So I have a bunch of wine glasses I gotta run through. We're gonna run those in the thunder. I gotta start up the epilogue and get this other big job of tags going and get this done. So I'm like, well, must have bring you along with it because I can show you how to engrave with the Thunder Laser glass. Now I am using the Roto Boss. It's what uh, they had on their website, it's what they recommended. So just went with what they recommended. And I like it so far, it works good. So no complaints there. Now I am lowering this so the head doesn't hit the rotary tool. Then we're gonna bring this closer. Now you'll see, I have a mark right there. I took the laser and marked it. I should do it here, but I put a black marker right there. So what we're gonna do is line up the laser. Center. Center. That's how I line it up so I know it's center. And I know it's gonna be good. So the other thing I like about this versus some other lasers, like you can't do this on the Thunder. While this is running, I can take this and plug it right in. Once it's plugged in, we're ready to rock and roll start making some wine glasses so <clears throat> let's grab some glasses I'll get this set up you know leveled everything right and start making some stuff we have quite a bit to run so we're gonna set it up and I'm gonna go and grab the work order figure out exactly how many we have to run 120 of them so we gotta get the program in there send this get this going and those that are, for those of you that are wondering, how do you get those orders? Because I'm getting a lot of that. Well, I got this order off Etsy. It's a repeat customer. They don't order 120 every single time, but they order. All right, so we want to move this over so it fits the glass. Now I like to go where it just starts to basically hit on the back of the glass right here. Where the wheel starts to hit because I use the stop. I put the glass all the way up to the front of the stop. I don't use the back one. Um, I find when you do that you get a really big tilt. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take a level. And this, I'm going to turn the level sideways, and some of you guys are going to be like, why are you doing it that way? Well, if you put it on the feet, it goes off the feet. So if you can see, when you put it on the feet, you're down the arch over here and over here. You want to level right here, the tallest part. So by turning it sideways, the bubble's actually going to rest on that part. So then you can turn this lever and we're gonna get it so it's level-ish. And that is level-ish. So then, I have to move you out of the way. There, I got it center again. I had to do that because I pressed escape, this went home. So what we're gonna do is move this over before I even go anywhere else. I'm gonna put it on top of the glass. Mm 
And that's right about there. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Origin. So it knows that's its home. That's where it needs to be. Now, what I do is I come over, you wanna go to the top part of the glass again, and I have it where it's just fitting in there. All right, so I have it so it just fits this in there, and that's about where you want it. Sometimes, if it's not etching correctly or right, you want to focus into it. The guy I talked to from Thunder, he said glass can be picky and you can focus into it and it actually works a lot better. So, <clears throat> if I ever have problems, I always focus into it and I've gone to, I think it was two millimeters? I believe so, two millimeters. So, I haven't had an issue with just doing it like this and then I'll show you the settings. And then I'll see how it looks. I always do one right out of the gate. And I don't believe I've done the wine glass in here, but I've done plenty of pints and picture frames, so. You'll see that I have a frame right here. And this I put as T1, so it's not detected by the laser. And then what I do is I measured the wine glass, so it's four and a half inches tall. So I made this four and a half inches long here. So that's my height of the wine glass like this. And then I set this to three and a quarter. And I only did three and a quarter because I don't like to do more than three inches on the name on glass because it gets to be too long and then you can't see it from just looking at the glass like this. So I never go over three inches. So I set that to that. So now all I do is set this in there and it's centered every time when I put it on the center and then it's good to go. So I ran it. It's good. It looks good and everything. I always take my little sanding pad here and rub it off. Make sure it looks good. Yeah, it doesn't scrape, nothing. I mean, it's good but I want to move the name up. I don't want it that low. So I went up a little more and let's see how that looks. <clears throat> I'm trying this for the fourth time. I quite didn't like it. I got one little piece to at, or break off. And what I use <clears throat> is this here and I scratch the side of it where the etching is and I see if I can get it to chip. And if I can get it to chip, it's no good and I don't like it and I don't go with it. You see, all these started to chip. This one was the least amount. But I changed the settings, I'm trying a couple more. Because I don't want the customers to get this when they're at their house, throw it in the dishwasher and then it comes out and it's chipping. To me, that's no good. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> Just throwing a $600 camera around. Like it's no big deal. All right. I should probably sand it first. Like I have always do. I think I found the setting. I think I did it. I think it's good. Voila, it passed the key test even. All right, so this one I focused in to two and then the settings See, did you see the glass? Look at that. No chipping whatsoever. You can feel it. You can feel the texture in it. It feels good. There's no sharpness. It's good. Like, really good.
I'm really impressed. The speeds are 600 and 65. You have to make sure you enable the rotary tool, user, origin. I have it on the top. See, you can see wherever that green dot is. See, if I turn this to here, that green dot moves and goes down to there. So, you want that to wherever you have this, because that's where it's going to start. Alright, <laughs> X all that. It wasn't coming out, like, I liked it, I loved it, actually, I really loved it, but I'm like, shouldn't have to focus in. I'd, if I can eliminate that, because I'm looking at, okay, if I, like, get in a car accident or something happens, Sarah can still run this business, right? I want to put notes in here. Well, telling her to focus in, focus out, la di da If she just knows, she has to take this tool and get it to focus, boom, you're done. So the settings I have came up with is 400 and 100 for your power. So that's a lot better. Um, I don't change, or I don't change nothing else as far as focusing this round because like I said, I wanted to grab that, put it in there, and go. I like the turnout. I really scratched hard with the key. And you can tell I got one part right up there that I got to etch on the tip of my thumb. I don't know if it's picking it up, but right up in there. And I had to, I was pushing hard. I thought I was going to break the glass in my hand. So I'm going to go with those settings and I'm going to run them through. Correction. I have 240 glasses to go through. A company that needs them right away from Texas that found me on YouTube, they need 120, and they need 100, another 120, someone from Etsy. So, a lot more than I thought I had to do. It's gonna be a long day, very long day. <laughs>
doing this for many years. But two, it'll come. You have to take your time, make sure you're getting the word out after you get established, once you get your business established. Now, only experience I can give you guys is online. I don't have a walk-in per se shop. I mean, I do for the people we know, but for people we don't know, I don't, I don't do it because we do this out of our house. I have a family, I have kids, and there's just a lot that plays into that factor. And maybe I should, we've thought about, you know, maybe I should um, get a place like in town. We've thought about that, but I don't know. I think I would lose the enjoyment of it because right now I can just go downstairs, start working, or I can go do something else and then work that evening, you know, without driving anywhere and I can home with the kids. I can stop, like, I'm talking to you guys, the laser stop behind me, I can hear it, and the air's gonna shut off in a second, but the whole point is, I can do this from my house, why should I get another shop and do it there? Eventually, I'd like to get a different house, and with a little bit more acreage so I can build a shed, put everything in there, and then have that as a walk-in, but, I don't know. Back to the big jobs, I guess, is keep going, and for all the people that think Etsy's not worth it well I beg to differ we make quite a bit of money quite a quite a bit of money off Etsy and a lot of big jobs and one of these wine glasses are from Etsy and they didn't blink an eye some people don't blink an eye at you know bigger jobs and some people do but you have to also remember what you're worth don't do things for free don't race to the bottom like some people are stay afloat stay on top I want these videos to help people to see that there's more out there. You have no, you have no idea how much enjoyment Sarah and I get. Like we didn't, we didn't, you know, dream of this when our, we were kids. Like we were gonna grow up and be laser engravers. But looking at it, like yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we hate about this job also. But at the end of the day, what we get to do with our family. 100% worth it and we do it over and over and over and over again so I just hope that someone out someone you guys understand this and start your own stuff last round of tags and that's it all the tags are done that'll be 3,000 tags now I have only three more cases of glasses to do so now if you're wondering what am I doing with these glasses I'm using these pads, and I have them in the link in the description. I like these, you don't have to buy them through my link. It is affiliate link, but you can go on there, look at which ones, find them somewhere else if you want. But this is what I found. I like this kind, and the grain is whatever is on there. Um, it'd be these two, they're in the description, but what I've been doing is I wiped down the glass with the pad, and then I take this fiber mic, this cloth, because there's some dust residue on there, and I just wipe it off. And it's not grabbing any of the fibers off the cloth, so then I know it is good, it's not gonna chip. And I do the key test, and I take a key and I scratch it. It hurts my teeth thinking about it, but it's been working really good. I like how it's engraving the glass, and this is one thing I was worried about with the CO2 laser, because Epilog has it dialed in for you, but this has been nice. So, I like that, and it's, it's quick. It's not uh, not taking too long, but it's 100 watt versus the 60 watt, so it should be faster. <clears throat> the other thing is, um, I've been reading more about that UV laser. You can do it faster, and there's like no cleanup from what I'm gathering, so. See, yeah, grab the glass, grab the pad, just go over it lightly, and you push hard on the way back, and there's no marks. And wipe that off, and boom. It's frosty, it looks really nice. If I can get it to focus. So yeah, run through this. These will probably be darn, darn near be done when this is done so not too much more to go 
kids will be getting ready 634 because we're getting ready for bed here soon <clears throat> and then I'll be done for the night after that after this is done and then tomorrow we have I'll run the other glasses I'll run that tomorrow and then we have other stuff it looks like on the wall that ain't be done for Monday but not too much since I didn't work Friday I had to work today because the sick kids too but it's all right it's worth it so worth it so I hope I'm giving you guys enough encouragement to keep going and keep pushing forward I know every time I get discouraged or I'm like ah oh, there's not enough time for this YouTube and I need to, I just can't do it and do the work it's just so much um, you guys always someone has always reached out and it's like either put a nice comment in the comment section or they email me and they tell me how much I'm helping and that honestly keeps me going because I'm not gonna lie, it is a lot of work doing all this videoing and stuff, but it's worth it if I'm helping someone. That's all that matters in my eyes. I didn't ever expect this to go anywhere or do anything, and it's blowing up beyond what I ever thought it would be. So, thank you. Thank you for watching me work. <laughs> really. <laughs> Uh, all right best of luck thank you you guys I'm glad you guys see me again <laughs> bye <laughs>